Hi guys, I'm just going to continue doing my prayer walk. I'm just I'm just to come down to Abel Tasman Ave. Um, I'm just going to go to the police station. I'm just going to um, talk about life and human rights. I'm just going to carry on, carry on off my prayer walk. In, the, in your name, Lord Father, your name above all names, Lord Father, that our faith is in you and you alone, Lord Father. The Lord Jesus, we know that we're going to have to live, you know, um, one day give our lives for you, Lord Jesus, and we know that things have happening in your word lord father that are becoming into fruition today lord jesus that we're seeing we're seeing your word from the old and the new coming to light lord jesus we're seeing prophetic that your prophecies are becoming more live and your, your word is becoming more real lord father in this time and lord jesus we know that, that the enemy is trying to destroy us we know that the enemy is trying to attack us we know that every every that Satan is trying to attack every believer in the world because they stand up for God, they stand up for the Lord, they stand up for the gospel, they stand up for Jesus Christ, they stand up for the, His word, they stand up for what they believe in Lord Jesus. But Lord Father, we know that there's going to one day be a resurrection. That every that, that everyone who's died in the faith of Christ will be risen again. Hallelujah. That one day soon and very soon there's going to be a new heavens. There's going to be a new earth. There's going to be a new. There's going to be a new day where where all where all this turmoil, all this war, everything is going to end. Hallelujah! Your word tells us in Hosea and it tells us in Ezekiel. You know that even all the animals in the world will not be harmed anymore. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I believe we're going to see the animals, animals like dinosaurs and, and all those um, creature uh, animals that died many thousands of millennia before will be risen again. Hallelujah. That all the bones will be wrecked if it will go back together into the, into the bones of these dinosaurs and come back to life. I believe that's going to happen. Hallelujah. Everything we've seen on this world is going to come into fruition. Hallelujah. That you are the Lord Jesus yesterday, today, and forever. Your word tells us, Lord Father, that one day, one day while we live in peaceful, holy lives on this earth, that one day God is going to fill us. God's world is going to be filled with His righteousness. Hallelujah. It's not going to be the righteousness of man. It's not going to be the righteousness of the world. It's going to be filled with God's righteousness. Hallelujah. No matter what we're fighting, no matter what the struggles, no matter what Satan is trying to inflict us by disease and illnesses right now, the enemy will, it can only do what he can, but he knows that God is going to come soon. Christ and the trumpet's going to sound soon. Everyone on this planet and everything, everyone world, worldwide will hear that trumpet so loud that from, from one planet to the world to another, it's going to hear that trumpet sound one day. Hallelujah. All the dead will be risen again. Hallelujah. And one day we're going to glorify our God forever and, and on, on the planet to come. Hallelujah that we're going to sing a new song to God, giving glory to the righteous one. We hear a song from the ends of the earth, as I tells us in Isaiah 24. One day soon there's going to be a song from, from Africa to Australia to New Zealand, whatever, whatever the Lord has planned, hallelujah. That one day soon there's going to be a new kingdom, a restored kingdom, where Satan will not be in that kingdom. There'll be no more evil, there'll be no more wars, there'll be no more chaos, there's going to be no more fighting. No more squabbling about, about anything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's like busy down your bus to me. Okay. Cross the rest again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wait for this truck. This is, this is, uh, this is our local uh, police station here in New Zealand, guys. I'm just going to um, do the video off now. I just want to talk to someone about the... Um, but uh, our household issues today. I'll just, I'll just come up here and turn, turn the video off. <sighs> Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. This is just a this is just our local police station guys. Amen. Hi guys, this is Matt here again. I just wanted to update my channel. Um, just wanted to say to all you guys out there, just um, briefly, um, I know that, that, that um, we're living in these very last days. Um, you know, God has, God has told us in His Word that we're living in, in, 
In the time when nations are rising against nations, we're seeing Israel and Hamas, we're seeing the conflicts, we're seeing the, there's pain and suffering um, in the world. We're seeing uh, such hatred, chaos, confliction happening in, in, in this world like, like we've never seen before. The world is so deceived about this climate change thing, you know, it's, um, it's not a climate change issue. Um, the, most Christians and believers know that we're living in this very last hours of life. Um, before God, before the Lord Jesus Christ comes back, and I just wanted to say to everyone on, on this planet, you know, um, especially with the do with mental health in this country, please, please um, speak up now. Um, I think Satan is, 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 is he's actually doing much wonders in, in, in the way of psychiatric drugs in this country, and actually, are uh, actually not making link things worse uh, better. They're actually making things worse. So guys, I'm just having to sort of stand and get myself comfortable on this, on this tree over here. I'm just, this, this outside, this is just outside the um, New Zealand uh, police station. You guys probably can see that from there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say just briefly, I've just be, spoken to the um, the police about it. Um, again, I, you know, they just, they said to me, you know, speak to the doctor and GP about your 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 um your individuals um issues um and so again I, I i will try i will try to tell doctors i try i will try to go to the doctor and tell 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 the doctor about the gp um and is in getting another assessment done for another for the um for for the individuals issues in our household but um you know we'll see what comes out of that conversation but uh, I have a funny feeling um, that's not going uh, uh, to... Uh, the, the issue is that the medication has made things life worse. And um, unfortunately, I mean, if our household has to go through some kind of family court situation, um, it might have to because, um, you know, my body's had enough of it. Uh, my body's had enough of this nicotine substance in, my, in, this, in, in this life. Um, you know, God tells us that, you know, we are to... You know, if the, of, of, of the Lord's will that we're going to die of nicotine substances or any other type of um, harmful substance, you know, I would have been, I would have been in my grave years ago, but I'm still living here today. Um, that's proof that we can overcome all issues, diseases, illnesses, cancer, you know, um, by the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm sorry to say that believers in Christ, we have to, we have to be blood users in this country. We have to be blood users in our society. Um, over sicknesses, over illnesses, you know, uh, people think it's a, uh, oh, it's not part of God's word. But actually, there are actually many verses um, in God's word that does say that we can overcome, we can overcome sin, we can overcome everything by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the word of our testimony, and, it, and that's, um, you know, and in this day and age, you know, know a lot of, um, you have a lot of biblical um, theologists say, oh, and no, they pleading the blood or applying the blood is not, not wasn't wasn't used in Jesus time or on Paul's day which it, which it, which it wasn't um, but it, it is a powerful weapon that can be used against Satan and his dark forces of darkness against cancer against diseases against illnesses um, in this in this country today and uh, I just want to say to all you guys out there um, please don't 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 shut up um, don't don't if you if you have if you have loved ones in your household that are controlling the situation in their own household. That's wanting to um, not say anything about mental health of any type of any sort. Um, I, I just say, you know, just go, just you know, go to the library or go to just go outside or somewhere where you can feel safe and talk about these issues because you know nobody should have to suffer mental health alone. Nobody should have to suffer any kind of um, mental mental issues, whatever the case alone alone will be. Um, you know, everyone has a right, everyone has opinion to, to talk about what's, what's going on, on in their own lives, what's going on in, in, in their own country, what's going on in their own society. Um, you know, I, I think mental health is a huge issue in this country that needs addressing in this way. <clears throat> so if guys, you can email, I've got a bit of a croak in my voice. Someone just, someone in our, in our, in our country just wants my life to be destroyed by nicotine and cancer. And I tell, I tell cancer to die right now. 
I, I tell everyone who, who's suffering cancer issues and nicotine substances right now, cancer, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour, cancer, you have to die right now. You die and shrivel up right now by the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. Cancer in our bodies have to shrivel up and die right now, shrivel up in our respiratory systems, shrivel up in our airways and passageways right now. All of it has to die off in its roots by the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. Yes, I just want to say that to all you guys out there. You know, I've got my I've got delivery to do soon. Someone's put a someone's put a fake spider there to try to scare somebody off. But I, I, I want to encourage all you guys. If you guys can see my face, I just want to encourage all you guys out there. Um, wherever you're at, don't don't suffer. Don't suffer anyone else's mental health issues alone. You know, people in our society are going through the same similar issues. Um, and then it shouldn't have to be silent in, in this country um, and it's something that shouldn't be silent about in this world as well so I just wanted to point that out um, in this country that you know people do have a right to speak up what's on their life what's on their mind what's on their body um, you know I'm not you know, I use these videos not to judge anybody who, who are going through issues but I, I, I'm sort of just I'm putting it out there I'm putting it out there about mental health and what whatever issues you're going through just speak up, speak up your mind, speak up your truth, speak up your, your voice about, you know, what the issues that you're facing through on, in this country and around the world. Uh, you guys do have rights, you know, as a human to talk about mental health or whatever, whatever issues you're facing today. Um, you know, there's no, no point just being silent and, um, you know, I think people, a lot of people die of cancer and nicotine in this country every year, which is a really shame. You know, when God's given us authority over demons, over spiritual palaces, over, over authorities of darkness in this country so we use we use the blood of Jesus Christ against all forms of sicknesses and illnesses today so I just want to say to all you guys out there in the world um, where we're at you know don't stay don't keep silent you guys have a voice you guys have a you guys have every, have every right on this planet to talk about the issues that you're facing in, in this world today um, you guys have a, you guys have every right to to talk about what's going on in, in society all right, guys, I'm gonna love that, love, love you, and leave you for now. <clears throat> so I got a bit of a croak in my voice. I'm just trying to get rid of all this can cancer in my life, all this lung poisoning in my life. Right, look, all right, right guys, I'll leave, love you, love you, leave you for now. I've got delivery. I've got newspapers to do now. <laughs> but I hope you guys, hope you guys do well and 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 keeping the faith in Christ and just have a voice, have a voice and ever 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 have a uh, have a voice and have a face. And, and talk about the, the issues that you that need really talking about. All right, guys, I love you and leave you for now. Bye.